Malnutrition is widespread and is linked to nearly half of all deaths in children under age 5 in many parts of the world. Over the past decade, a group of scientists conducted the most comprehensive global study to evaluate the roles of nutrition, intestinal infection, and the burden of diarrhea on child growth and development. The Foundation for the National Institutes of Health, in collaboration with the NIH's Fogarty International Center, managed the study called MAL-AD, which was supported by a grant from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. World-renowned scientists managed the research at eight communities in resource-limited areas in Africa, Asia and South America. At each site, scientists followed at least 200 children from birth until age two, evaluating their nutritional status exposure to intestinal pathogens, illness, physical growth, cognitive development, and response to vaccines. They also assessed socioeconomic factors, such as water quality, household income, and maternal education. And what the scientists found was surprising. The MAL-ED data revealed that a vast majority of children had repeated exposure to harmful intestinal pathogens. These pathogens cause intestinal infections that, even in the absence of obvious symptoms like diarrhea, contribute to significant shortfalls in child growth, cognitive development, and response to vaccines. In particular, children can have a significantly lower length for age at age two compared to international standards. They also are likely to experience cognitive development deficits, potentially limiting their ability to learn and solve problems. Additionally, they are less likely to develop protective immune responses after receiving oral vaccinations such as for polio. These effects can have consequences on a child's school performance and social advancement. In turn, this can negatively influence the future economic productivity of that individual, their family, and even their community. The MAL-ED findings suggest that a combination intervention strategy has the best chance to change these outcomes. One component is to improve environmental conditions by reducing exposure to contaminated water and food and unsanitary living conditions that cause infections. Another is to increase the nutrients the children eat through a diverse diet with more protein. The MAL-ED study will continue to have far-reaching effects in the future. The data are being made available to researchers around the globe to test new hypotheses, disseminate findings, and lay the groundwork for important interventions that have the potential to change children's lives in resource-limited regions of the world. Learn more about MAL-ED and the latest results at fnih.org forward slash M-A-L-E-D.